As officials scrambled to convene the hastily announced and once unthinkable meeting in the coming weeks, the site itself remains an open question. It is unclear whether Mr. Kim's fleet of Soviet airplanes can fly him more than a few thousand miles from North Korea. We know he has a plane, but it's an old plane, said Su Mead Terry, a former CIA analyst and National Security Council aide who worked on Korea issues. No one really knows if it works. Since taking power in 2011, Mr. Kim is not known to have flown outside his country, and the question of his transportation adds a layer of political complications to a fraud and uncertain summit meeting. With the expected range of Mr. Kim's planes, a trip to Hawaii or Guam, the closest United States territory to North Korea, would almost certainly require a refueling stop or a borrowed plane. Korea experts call that an indignity that Mr. Kim would not accept. That is from Ali Watkins of the NYT.